Sledging, of course. Whoa. Whoa. Probably one of my favorite things about this apartment is the fact that we have our own sauna. Here goes nothing. Whew. Welcome to Sarisalka. Good morning. Good morning. Just a way to leave. Going to Europe's most northern ski resort in Sariselka. We sure are, so hopefully we'll get even more snow than this right now. Some reindeer and some sledging. And our accommodation even has a sauna, <laughs> so looking forward to jumping in there. I'm so excited to jump in the sauna as soon as you get in. <laughs> so I think the bus is about three hours north of Rovaniemi to Sariselka. Just wait to catch it just now. And uh, yeah. I think the views along the way will be awesome. Yeah, hopefully get some nice uh, scenery out the windows. So yeah, let's go so, get the bus. Come with us to Sariselka. We are driving up north and there's a lot of snow outside. The bus driver is like nipping on his knee. And there's so much snow on the ground. Doesn't even bother him. Nah, he's just doing his job. I would be driving at 10 miles an hour. The driver is just casually overtaking buses and cars and reindeer on the road. <laughs> this, is, this is nuts. We've just arrived in our new accommodation in Sariselka after our bus ride through the most unbelievable scenery snowy hills and trees and we saw so many reindeer so it was really cool let's take a look and show you because what an apartment this is it's super nice so we've got our lovely little hallway of course first of all to leave our boots and things because they're all wet from outside and then down here we have the bathroom but not only the bathroom we have we have our very own sauna how exciting. I can't wait to get this on and get cozy in there. And then, down here, we have our lovely little living area with kitchen. So it's just a little kitchen, perfect. Perfect for us too, but most importantly, a coffee machine and views of a ton of snow right now. <laughs> it's really thick. So then, down here, we have our little seating area, our lovely little living room. Oh, that's comfy. With a fireplace. And they've left some logs, but we'll probably get some more while we're here. And of course, what would it be an apartment without a retro radio and CD player? <laughs> Let's head upstairs on the steepest stairs known to man. Bedroom number one, twin beds if we feel like it, which might be handy. And then, bedroom number two. And look at this. I'll put deep at this side. And through here, we've got a little view. I'll take you and show you. Look at this. Our lovely little view. Snow. And when we were downstairs, when we first got here, um, just outside, there were reindeer footprints. So I'm really hoping at some point we wake up or we just look out the window and see some reindeer hanging about. That'd be pretty nice. So yeah, our apartment for the next four nights before someone's birthday surprise. <laughs> so we'll just wait, cut the head to the shop, get stocked up. Most and important, coffee. We've got a log burning fire, so we're gonna get logs, one more, because she's giving us three, but we need, we're not very good at starting fires, you see. So we need something that'll help us start the fire. And then we're going to, yeah, get the fire on and plan and our couple close. of, plan our couple of days in Sally Selka and uh, take it from there. Yeah.
This is the kind of morning you want to wake up to when you've come up to the Arctic Circle. It's so cool. <laughs> Good morning from a snowy Sari Selka. It's been snowing all morning. We're just leaving the house now. But what does that mean? What are we about to do? Sledging, of course. We're not just sledging any old place. We are sledding on Europe's longest sledding run, which is over one and a half kilometers long. Let's go. This is the quickest way to get about Sari Selka. <laughs> Sari Selka is Europe's most northern ski resort. So we're here for the week. Technically, this is still not their ski season yet, so I don't think ski season is for another two weeks. But look at the amount of snow. It's insane. So we are literally in the middle of the Arctic Circle. And we have heard, we've not seen them yet in the town, but we have heard from Santa, so you know it's right, that there will be reindeer that just wander about the town. So we're on the lookout. We saw footprints yesterday outside our apartment, but they obviously came before we got there. So fingers crossed. I just tried to take a shortcut to the side. Now look. <laughs> <laughs> and this isn't even peak season. Bear in mind I've got long lanky legs. <laughs> Pulling the sledges when you could be pulling me on the sledge. A few moments later. <laughs> this is 10 euros, by the way. <laughs> and it's all uphill. <laughs> and it's sliding. <laughs> About halfway up the hill. I'm walking for about 20 minutes now. I can't wait to go down. It's such a nice, such a nice place. It's hard to describe. Yeah, it's nice. It's like, everywhere you look, it's just pure white. <laughs> I've never seen trees like this before. This slide better be worth it. I'm telling you now. Half an hour hike uphill, and now in knee deep snow. Ash is all set to go on her first run Ready? of the toboggan. Let's give her a wee push. See you at the bottom. I think she's got a bit off track. But good try. Oh, 
My face is absolutely freezing. I tried. I failed. Let's go. Here comes Dan. Don't knock into me. We're halfway down, but we have this place to ourselves. There was a few other people at the top on like little ski or little hills at the top, but we were the only people coming down. And it is so much fun. It is totally packed with snow. The snow is super deep, isn't it? It's wild. Never been anywhere like this before, but wow, what an experience this is. I just came down this hill, absolutely pelted in the face of snow. The worst brain breeze I've ever had. Dan is up there, you can see his top of his head. Oh no, that's actually a tree actually. But he's up there. He's about to come down this hill. And it is like super fast. So let's see how, how fast he comes down. Oh my god. Get me home to the sauna, that's all I can say. Oh shit. Sugar. Here he comes. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Dan! <laughs> Dan! Look at me. <laughs> so we made it to the bottom of the track halfway down we actually used the road because uh, because there was so much <laughs> snow on the toboggan track or sledding track we kept getting blinded we got blind, blinded my hat froze over <laughs> um, we couldn't see we couldn't see i got brain freeze <laughs> um so it was really challenging to do but we then jumped onto the road where Ashley went flying off and I ripped my jacket. Classic. I managed to get quite a lot of speed going down on the yeah, road. Yeah, you were good. Because the snow wouldn't go in your face and it was kind of smooth snow so it made for easier sledding but yeah it was so much fun um, and like we said already but we literally have this place to we were, ourselves. Yeah, we were the only people on that sledding track. It's nuts. So it's been awesome. Thoroughly enjoyed. I guess that's the benefits of coming somewhere like just off season, but it's not all, it's like shoulder season. So just before it gets busy, where there's barely anybody here. I guess the negative to that, it's not the end of the world because we're cooking a lot of stuff in the apartment, but like a lot of the restaurants aren't open for like another week or two. So that's the, yeah. you know, pros and cons. Quarter past 10 here in Sariselka. Um, it's currently snowing actually, um, but I'm on the way to search for the Northern Lights. Um, I did, have, did a bit of research online and it does say that there's like a red high chance of the auroras coming out tonight. So um, here we go, let's try to find them. But supposedly every like there's such a high chance of seeing them in this area of the world because we are so north, um, right into the Arctic Circle. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll see them. A good morning from a minus 10, although it doesn't feel like it. Could be because we had a very cozy room. We had a very cozy apartment this morning. So yeah, feeling good. We've just come out for a walk. So we're heading to it's the Aurora Hut. It's really nice actually walking in about the snow. 
and as we were walking there's a cross-country ski track literally right next to us so there's a few people just up there in front of Dan doing some cross-country skiing which would be kind of fun but yeah we don't have any skis <laughs> um so yeah we are just gonna have a little wander in the forest see what we can see and then the most important part is guess what head back for a sauna later on so we're basically walking this trail that's been made by a snowmobile i'm not sure if it's an official trail but the other thing that's happening right now is because it's so cold <laughs> Any moisture on our faces, which includes in our nose, is like freezing. So it feels like my nose hairs are all sticking together because of the cold. So like, <laughs> it feels really weird. Like my nose is really tight and I've got like something in it, but it's just the weather. Check out this, they have their own cabin at the top of this big hill um, to watch the aurora when they come out. Supposedly 50% of the days here in South Selka have the Northern Lights. So there's a really high chance of seeing them up here. And they built this cabin and the trail we just walked all, all to kind of view the Northern Lights. So it's really cool. What's amazing as well is this is all free. This is all, it's a free trail, free to enter. Because some of the Aurora tours are like hundreds and hundreds of pounds. So to get this viewing area free, is really nice. Check out the views. We're gonna see if the door is open. We're in. Oh my god. Oh, it's so cozy. I can't believe that door was open. Oh my gosh. Look. Do you ever move to set the fire? Yeah, why not? Check out this. This is unreal. So basically, you can come here at night. This one was open, the other one isn't. But you can sit and watch the aurora from inside or be cozy inside. And then when the aurora, aurora comes out, you can head out. This is unbelievable. And you don't pay anything for this either. It's just completely free of charge. They leave the wood. Let's try and get this fire started. Not our best. Uh, skill. Not our best skill, but we'll give it a go. We've just finished our time at the Aurora hut there. We managed to get the fire going, um, so that was good. And the sky cleared and it was such an amazing view. And I turned into Dr. Doolittle with all these little birds <laughs> jumping on my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't jumping on my fingers, I got the... They jumped on his head and he ran away and screamed. <laughs> I was flying the drone and got some pretty amazing footage. So it was good. Let's carry on our hike. Dad, 
on, don't walk out like a door. Me, sorry, no can do. No idea how that river's not frozen, but. This is ace. Right, we're back from our walk. We've had lunch. The sauna's been heating up for the past 40 minutes. So I think it's just about ready. What does that mean? It's time to go sauna. Swimsuits, let's go. Ready. Ready to go. Let's go. Probably one of my favorite things about this apartment is the fact that we have our own sauna in the bathroom. Oh my God, 58. So this is the temperature right now. 58 degrees. At least it's dry heat. Whew, does yeah. not you feel it hot? And then what you do, so we've got our bucket of water. This is where it gets really hot. I love that noise. Oof. And right. this is the best way to warm up in Finland. The main difference between our sauna and the Finn sauna is normally they do it naked but you know pg and all that we thought better not do that for youtube <laughs> and then they jump in the snow which uh we might give it a go <laughs> this is how they cool down sometimes in a frozen lake sometimes just the fresh snow this boy's nuts So, here goes nothing. Ooh. <laughs> oh. oh my God. Yeah, he's on his own there. <laughs> it's cold. Oh my God. Oh my God. Back in the sauna. Back of the sauna, back of the sauna, back of the sauna. Let's go. Back of the sauna. Ooh. That's how they do it. midnight and we've come out it's freezing cold but we've come out to come and see or well, hopefully try and see yeah. the northern lights i went out a few nights ago and failed but it says there's only like a 20 percent chance tonight but yeah also this is our first clear night since we arrived in sarisalka like we can see the moon we can yeah. see the stars we've even got our Head torch is prepared. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, fingers crossed we actually see them. I know. But if not, when we get home, it's time to get super cozy. <laughs> yeah. No joy in the northern lights, but these decathlon head torches—they're the ones. Game changer. Hashtag not gifted. 